It is Grasslands Animal Pack DLC time, guys. We have a new DLC announcement, and it is the Grasslands Animal Pack. You've seen potentially the trailer at the beginning of the video, and today it's what everyone was guessing after yesterday's live stream. It is a Grasslands Animal DLC with, I have to say that, a pretty amazing roster of animals. Um, some of which are not super exciting after yesterday, because obviously are surprising, I should say, um, but some of which are super uh, exciting and surprising, at least for me. Um, there are a couple of cool images we have. I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds. I did my, you know, I did my homework and this time around I did a bit of digging before I started recording the video. I have images of all the animals for you. Uh, most of them actually from in-game already because the Steam page had some hidden in them. Um, but also I got some actual images of, for example, the butterflies because, uh, you know, next to the seven animals we have for the habitats, we get five exhibit animals. Well, in fact, it's one species, but in five variants and that is the butterflies. Mm. They will go into the walkthrough exhibit, exhibits, and we have um, four of which. I'm going to show you these because, um, you, you know, if you're not a butterfly expert, just as I am, you need maybe some pictures, and I'm going to go through them. Um, you can link the names to them later if you want. I'm too stupid to just connect them all the time. But um, you can see there's one wonderful image of the armadillo, and we also have a lot of other stuff. So um, this is the obvious stuff. We have got the nine-banded armadillo. We have the extra, uh, the extraordinary, uh, with its extraordinary armor, I should say. The maned wolf, which is um, pretty much uh, one of the fan favorite, I guess. The curious emu, same thing. Um, even though I, these aggressive things, <laughs> I, you know, whatever. Um, I love them. We also have the Caracal, which is super cool. It's a very cool cat. Um, we've got the Red-necked Wallaby, uh, another kangaroo. We've got the Striped Hyena, very, very cool model. Um, or actually, I hope it is, but the, the hyena is really cool. And we've got the Blue Wildebeest. Um, which is something I uh, find funny because of some movies, uh, like kids' movies in which they're super funny. But in general, this might be the least exciting for me personally. But whatever, they all come with unique behaviors like 9 minute Amir preening and sniffing, the caracals bouncing and floppy ears. And uh, we are sure both you and your guests will enjoy these new species. I'm quite certain about this. Now, um, I also did spot a couple of things in the trailer, which we're going to go about at the end of the video. But first of all, um, uh, we can already see that in here. I'm quite certain that there is a little bit of new um, foliage in there. At least you can see that in the trailer, which is kind of cool. Let's see if there's anything written in here because I have no idea if so. Um, you'll also be able to test your skills with a brand new scenario set within a uh, picturesque grassland of Argentina. You'll be able to working alongside wealthy Sorta and Tiffany Summers to help learn the importance of animal care and animal sanctuaries in species conservation. You'll be relocating the diverse inhabitants of her sprawling mansions to a more suitable new home. We are sure uh, your zoo management magic can make life much better for these animals. These new career blah, 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 blah. Incredibly um, excited to continue this narrative. So that's really cool that they follow a new kind of narrative for the scenario players. I am a big fan of it, but I don't play it. The Grassland Pack is the same price as always if you want to be notified of the game, all the um, normal stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's the, the moment where we want to jump over into the other pictures because there's a lot of stuff to see in them. So let's uh, jump right into them. All right, first things first is the main wolf, as you can see. And uh, right away in this pic, you can already see that there's a lot of new foliage, these kind of grass things over here with these wonderful violet kind of blooming um, ends. And you can see there are different variants of it. We've got that one and the potentially dried out version of it. Um, at this point, I'm not hoping they are flexicolor. I'm just pretty sure these are two different variants. Um, I was wondering though, if these stones are new, they, I, I mean, this could be the fake rock, uh, the smaller fake rocks we got eventually, but this one looks a bit you know, I can't tell, but this is just me hoping, maybe. But a wonderful look, and yeah, the model. I think we need to talk about it. It really looks good. It really looks good. Let's move on to the next one, um, because we have got the emo in here with the baby emos. How cool is that? Uh, emus, I should say. Emu. <laughs> they pronounce the U a little bit more. So you can see that one. Look at that little chicken. Um, really, really cool model. Love that Iro. <laughs> the, the haircut is brilliant. Um, now, in this one over here, um, it seems like there's also this this type of plant looks to be new over here. Uh, this variant might be the exact same, but now we have like, we have, we've got violet, we've got this reddish kind of end to them, um, and the dried out variants. So the dried ones are here, the violet ones are there. This one is pretty much already something we had in game. I'm not sure about these ones. I believe we have them. However, I'm not sure. I think the ones we have in game, they still have like a blooming part in the center. I have to double check it. I haven't opened the game yet, so don't take this for granted. So maybe this one over here is already in game, but I'm very certain about these other things. Um, 
And there's some glass roofs, but I'm, I'm pretty much sure that this is the in-game piece already, yes. Um, but again, the building skills of Frontier get better and better, so uh, I'm more than ever tricked into something. Anyhow, so let's go into the next one. You can see over here in this habitat, we've got the um, wonderful main wolf. We've got the uh, emo in that one in the back. It's certainly something that I'm not sure. This is a weird choice of uh, plants in here. Not gonna lie about i think these are the available plants um this might be the walkthrough exhibit as in uh the butterflies looks cool we've got a very cool entrance gate over there but we can't really tell apart from this looks to be like a statue or something this looks to be like a, a butterfly statue but we did already have one in game so uh, it might also be the in-game version um already um there are some cool little signs uh, as you can tell this is obviously from uh, you know, from from all the other packs, the pretty much the same as always. We've got all these wonderful designed little things, really cool stuff. Um, in the front over here, this seems to be the Armadillo, uh, if I'm not completely wrong, and that's about that. Um, I, I don't want to. I do want to see the hyena, uh, but anyway. So this is that one. Uh, so let's go over there. The other picture of the Amadiu. This is the one you have seen in the. Oh gosh, look at all the little hairs and stuff. Beautiful model. I hope they do roll. I hope they do roll. And then we have the last one, which is the blue wildebeest. Um, looking fantastic. Looking really fantastic. Um, and also in here, maybe though it is. Flexi color, maybe not. Oh gosh, there's so many variants of this one. This reddish one, the more dried out one, another one. Yeah, okay. So please really don't get your hopes high, but this might be, or we have like an insane amount of variants of it, but you know, you never know. Okay, so that said, um, we are done with the images that we have currently from the game. Maybe I missed out on some, but um, this is the in game stuff. So we are missing out on something. So let's move on to some actual pictures so you have a better idea how the other animals do look once they get into. All right, let's start with the missing habitat uh, animals. So this is the first one. This is the striped hyena. And oh, look at that. It's looking cool. It's looking so cool. Can't wait for it. And so fluffy. Really, really curious to see how the uh, in-game version looks. What a friendly face that has, though. A lot more friendly than the spotted hyena, if you ask me. But that's just me. Now, let's go over to the next one. And this is the caracal. Oh, my Lord. I'm so excited to see this one in-game. That's one of the coolest cats um, out there. So I'm really, 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 really excited to have it. Now let's go over to the next uh, and last one we are missing. And this is the wallaby. Look at that one. It's so cute, isn't it? And I know that many, many people wanted to have it. And so here you go. Um, yeah, these three are pretty much obvious. Now, very important, um, we are going over to the butterflies. All right, uh, here is your butterfly expert, Rudy. This is the blue morpho. Um, this is the first one we have in here. Then we have the cloudless Sulfur. I'm just reading out the names, by the way, of the photos. So I'm not an expert, by the way. But this is the blue, sul uh, the cloudless sul sulfur. I'm, I'm also not sure if uh, the naming is correct or the pronunciation is correct. Anyways, we've got the um, old world swallowtail. This is the other one, and then we've got the peacock butterfly. And there's one missing, which I can't open. I think because it's uh, it's not a JPEG. Let's open it that way. Oh my God, what's that? It's opening in paint. Yeah, no, that's a that's a great idea, guys. Great idea. Anyways, you guys can tell. <laughs> This is the Monarch Butterfly. Great stuff. Um, yeah, that's how it's looking. I have no idea why it opened in paint. Anyhow, um, yeah, so these are the animals. And I think this is the point where we just jump over once more into the trailer to have a final look. And I give you also my final conclusion of what I think about this pack. All right, there we go. So yeah, the quality of the video is not 4K or anything because um, I haven't yet downloaded the 4K version, but this should be enough to get a little bit of an uh, idea what is going on. So the Amadillo looks fantastic, but zooming out over here, we can already tell that there are some new plants in the middle. Um, I'm quite sure that there is a lot of stuff we don't have currently in the games, like especially these green leaves popping out. I really can't tell which plant it would be in game. I'm very certain that we don't have them um, alongside all the others. There's the emo looking at us. The trees are all in game, so nothing nothing new about that one. But um, yeah, obviously the Amadio can also go into a burrow. Very cool as well. Um, look at the little tongue sticking out. Love it. Uh, but yeah, in here you can also see some new plants with the these violet kind of leaf thingies. Um, if we go over. Yeah, and you can see with this meadows over here, you can tell there's there's a lot of color in between that we don't have with the wildebeest running across here. Beautiful landscaping, by the way, Frontier. Well done. Good job. Um, yeah, nothing really too exciting in this shot anyway. So um, in this trailer,
trailer today, uh, apart from the fact that the transition effect is pretty dope with the butterflies, like a little hint, I really love it. Um, very nicely done. Um, there's really not that much in here. So um, I can basically use this as my uh, sign off screen. And I want to, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna check out with this wonderful Amadeo shot over here. Oh, no, you know what? Just because I like it. Let's go back to the emo. There you go. I love this. I love this thing. Um, Guys, I really hope you are excited for the pack because uh, you have to carry me a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, these animals are brilliant, they're really nicely done, and I will hold back with my final conclusion uh, until I have played, actually, the DLC and the update together because I learned from the last um, DLCs that initially my hype wasn't really that crazy as before, and then once I got the pack at hand, I was like, oh my god, it's so good. And I really hope it kicks in this time again. However, um... The roster of animals is insane. I really love it. It really adds a lot to the variety of the the roster in the game in general. I love the fact we've got finally kind of a butterfly thingies, which will help us a lot, uh, especially given the fact it's all uh, with the null fence and, you know, we can do a lot about that. Really cool stuff here. Um, and as I said, the looping effect for butterflies especially is totally fine. You know, having them free fly is just kind of ridiculous. Um, as I said, I even would have been happy with a VFX and so that's even better than a VFX. Now, that all granted, um, the, the, I mean, we got a bird right in front of us, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but um, it almost feels like that we can basically conclude that birds and full aquatic animals are not going to happen in Planet Zoo 1 or Planet Zoo in like original game, um, which is a bit of a sad thing. However, um, seeing how serious Frontier treats the uh, overall roster of animals and stuff, um, I'm still very positively uh, surprised about how they're carrying on and if the quality of animals and the ideas and, you know, um, keeps on coming like this, I think we can all be happy. Sure, me personally, I would have loved to see, um, especially now as a holiday DLC, which is always like the bigger one, um, something more you know, unique and something more that adds a lot of new stuff and I'm pretty certain that this DLC will not bring one single person back to the game who has stopped playing the game because of lack of birds or aquatic animals, for example. And yes, um, it still feels still not like a full complete zoo game. You know, even even though we have an insane roster of animals and an insane quality of animals. Um, so that said, this is the only downside of this DLC. So please take this with a huge grain of salt, what I've just said, because um, isolated, just looking at the DLC, this looks to be like a br brilliant deal. Again, great animals, really cool roster, uh, five exhibit animals, uh, really, really, really cool stuff. <clears throat> and I'm I'm really looking forward to how versatile it is and what we can use it with. And maybe we even get some new enrichment pieces. Uh, so yeah, really positive in, in terms of the roster and the choice of animals. Pretty cool about that. Um, and I've got to see how the how the free update goes together with this and then what we see in the future. Uh, but that about it. Um, how do you guys like the DLC? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, we will go over everything that is dropped in the coming days. And um, I promise there's going to be a cool new Zoo Zisley episode this weekend. So keep your eyes on the channel. And now have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please consider are doing so we are growing and that's great and i hope to uh, give you guys all a great new home so have a good time and goodbye